Here we go once again to fight fans. Three rounds in the flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. His background is in karate. At five feet, six inches tall, he weighed it officially 125 and one quarter pounds. Tonight, he makes his professional debut, hailing from Liverpool, England. Here is Connor, the hand grenade Hickman. And next, his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. His background is in combat sambo. At five feet, seven inches tall, he weighed in officially 123 and three quarter pounds. He too makes his professional debut tonight, fighting out of and representing Amon Jordan. Here is Naras, the honey badger of Zan. Referee in charge, Pete Lavering. Referee Peter Lavery about to get this one underway as two young flyweights make their professional debuts. Connor Hickman are you ready? in the blue. Connor, are you ready? And he's taking Fight. on Jordan Zone Narwas Abzak in the black and red. And it's the Jordanian fighter taking the center of the cage early, Josh. Yeah, both guys have a habit of getting the job done on the ground here, but I think probably the edge in the stand-up, maybe gonna go to Connor. And we see him open up with some good straight shots early. Gonna pace himself here, does Hickman. Both these guys, high level amateur experience in the first takedown comes from Navas Abzak. Yeah, caught off balance was Hignett. Let's see what he can do here with this open guard position. Well, Abzak did say he wanted to outbox Hignett, but as soon as those punches started to land, a change of tact was in order. Abzak doing a good job of looking to pass through, and Hignett with a nice, technical, aggressive stand-up. A time an amateur really does pay dividends for these fighters. An extensive amateur record for Hignett, former amateur flyweight champion in the UK. Training out of Hammer Gym in St. Helens. A big amateur squad there to train with. Single leg for Abska now. Big pick up and slam. He's got to watch the neck though, he's got a depth with a guillotine choke. He's yeah. not able to sync it up there though. No, and he's uh, unfortunately given up a, it's a very strong side control position for Abska. Short punch is coming down, Hignett though. Making it very difficult for the Jordanian. Yeah, Abzak's looking for the crucifix. He's managing to pin the arm, now switching to the key lock on the forearm. This is nice. Hignett's going to be very careful here, Josh. Yeah, I think Hignett might have escaped that elbow. Yeah, and he's got his posture back very well. Back to full guard in a much more a balanced position for him. Abzak's going to have to watch the armbar from down here as well. Hignett has a great armbar from the guard. Yeah, he's got a, a win not too long ago, actually May of this year by armbar. Nice straight punches from the Jordanian. Oh, yeah. Second and third one of those were big. And there's got to be some movement here from Connor Hignett. Can't just sit back. Hignett can take a shot, but he has to improve his position. He has to defend well here. Yeah, Hignett still looking relatively calm. Just taking a few moments to settle himself. It's really good work from Abzak, though. Now we're trying to get some posture, some better ground and pound. And you talk about walking into the Lions Den on your professional debut, Josh. The Jordanian crowd completely partisan in favor of Nardwas Abzak. Yeah, the Connor Hignett took it all in the stride, but right now the Jordanian searching for another key lock on the far arm. And there's options for Hignett to counter here. Going searching with the, the legs, but nothing's going to be tight at this stage. And, oh, straight ankle lock. Got to be careful of the up kick here, does the Jordanian. You can do a lot of damage with a standing straight ankle lock, but that was a textbook guard pass in MMA. Discarded the legs to the side, threw a huge shot on the way down. Excellent from Asgo, who now finds Mount. Straight into Mount. Hignett looking to explode the with the guys, hips. Watch the hits. Well, Abzak may have got most of his wins, all head? of his wins, in fact, by submission, but he's showing a very well-rounded attacking game. I really like the way he's mixing the strikes in to his top control here. Hignett staying busy. He's going to be careful of giving up that back, taking some shots here, though, Josh. Yeah, Conor Hignett's a little too flat for my liking. Needs to really start moving, getting on the hip. There's still a long time left in this round. Going to be careful of leaving those arms up high as well. Yeah, he'll, he'll be aware of that, but again, searching for the key lock. 
is Abzak's third or fourth time he's looked for that now. Pignat looking to turn his man here. Not going to be able to, again, gives up the man position. Oh, Pignat gets pressed against the cage here, he's in real trouble. Armbar coming. Switching for the armbar, Hignett needs to get that elbow out. This is tight, Josh. Oh, he rolls and he frees the head. Beautiful work from Hignett, if he can get up and avoid this triangle on the way up. What an escape from the youngster. Great stuff from Connor Hignett there. Well, I thought really the gutted that submission attempt out, Josh. Yeah, I thought the cage was going to cost him, but he rolled into the cage, managed to free the head. That helped him get the shoulder away from the crucial pressure point. Nice elbow there from Hignett. First time he's ever been allowed to use elbows in mixed martial arts competition. Yeah, and he's got a bit of time on Come top on, here guys, to work. It's going to be tough for him to snatch this round back, but What's concerted ground and pound now might just do it. Get your feet out of the cage, guys. Got to be careful of the submissions from the Jordanian while in this position. Can't heel kick to the kidneys. The Jordanian's going to have to be a little careful about that. Throwing up for another armbar. Not long left in this round, and Hignett just sees it out. Tough first round for professional MMA for Conor Hignett there. Yeah, he's still in it, though, and he can still come back, but he, he was definitely... looked really good standing. I mean, let's have a look at some of these replays. I'm sure we'll see him opening up with some great strikes on the feet. Well, here, here we see the, the takedown early. I believe the second takedown attempt. Yeah, got a really good pick up and just turned his man completely. And you see that means he lands in a good side control position. Searching for these key locks again. Just unable to sink in that submission. This was a brilliant guard pass. See how he throws the legs to the side, throws a huge right hand on the way down. Flush. Right on the chin of Conor Hignett. I've seen Hignett fight many times before as we see him defend this armbar attempt. He's got a great chin and his stand-up is fantastic. You see the roll allowed him to free the head and he got okay, that left hand back inside That's quick to try and establish a frame. Blocked the uh, possible triangle combination submission there. Come on guys, seconds, let's clear the kids! And you've got to think Higgins corner telling him the stand-up is where he needs to be as we move into the second frame here. Second of three five-minute rounds if they need them here in Amman, Jordan. Yeah, absolutely. I think the key for Conor Higner here is keep this at range. Keep the strikes coming in. Don't throw the kicks where he can counter. Let's try and keep this as a bit of a boxing match, perhaps, for the first couple of minutes. Connor's got a nice right hand just as he lands it. Great combination striker, but has to be wary of that takedown. And there's a left hook from Hignett. Yeah, lead Looking left better hook. on the feet here. Right hand becomes behind it. Yeah, lead left hook landed flush. And that's a much better combination. The kick was kept low as well, which, of course, makes it much harder to counter. He starts coming above that and... Watch out for the corkscrew uppercuts from the man from St. Helens. Oh, good shot in under, though. He's going to have to do some takedown defence here as Hignett looks to sprawl, but it's a really good takedown from Naras Azzabak. Great stuff from the Jordanian. He's raining down punishment. Nothing landing too cleanly, but Hignett gives up the man position again, Josh. Can he use the cage to walk he himself out? Oh, he That's might be able to. There's a big bridge if he can do it, but just going a little bit flat here. See how he's, he's on his shoulders. He needs to be getting on his side, getting on his hip, really trying to escape. There you go. If he can make a frame and just clear one of those legs, much easier said than done when these elbows are coming your way, though. He's got to be careful of that arm. Now Ross Abzak has attacked with punches and submissions in the fight, looking to hook the arm by here, if he can. Going for it again, it's a little bit of a loose entry, but Conor Hignett's going to have to sit up into this quick. Oh, he's freed the elbow. He should be out of this one. Looking up, possibly for a leg lock. Conor Hignett's got a calf crush on his uh, record. He's going to watch that neck, though. Oh. Up to the guillotine. This is incredibly tight, Josh. Certainly is, what a good submission entry that was. Hignett's going to pop his head up though. And Hignett survives, and Hignett in top position now. What the can the Englishman do from here? He needs to do something a lot. Oh, Umbar coming again. I love the submission onslaught from Naras Abzak. He's not giving Conor Hignett a single moment to think. Hignett had a chance for ground and pound here. He's got to be hitting him. If he Come lets on, him guys, get his hips out again, it. it's going to be another submission attempt coming his way. And a few of them have been pretty close so far. And perhaps the smart move from Hignett here will be to look to stand out of this position and get back to his feet. Get your feet out of the kids, that's the third time. One more yeah, time he's got to stay square with his opponent. Anytime you're not uh, aligning the center of your body with the center of theirs, one of you's got a chance to attack, and it's usually the guy on the bottom. 
And Peter Lavery giving a final warning to Naros Abzak there for putting his toes in the cage. Could well be a point deduction if he does it again. Hignett, though, tapping away from this top position. Running down the clock here, just over two minutes to go in this second round. Whilst he's controlling this position, he does need to start landing some damage. Abzak's been very efficient so far with the submissions and, and putting Hignett on the defensive. So Hignett's got to fire some offense back. Very active from his back is the Jordanian. Again. Oh, Hignett, I'd, I'd like to see him stand up here. The, the more he stays in this range, the easier it is for his arms and his neck to be attacked. And you can see the angle's already been created by Nauris Abzak. I mean, what about if Hignett was to stand up here, try and get his posture over the Jordanian and really oh, land some ground and pound? Peter Lavery calling for a little bit of action. Get your feet out of that kit, and I will not warn you again. And another final warning. And I'm sure Hignett feels safe here. He's got a good defense in, but at the same time, should never have let that position be established. Running down the clock, though, is the man from St. Helens. Getting a round back, perhaps, you would think, here. It's going to be a really tough one, because his offense has been pretty minimal in this time on top. Short elbows, short shots to the heads, a bit of posture. Something to up the work rate for this last minute. I would like to see some elbows here from Conor Hignett. First time in professional MMA with elbows as an option for both these gentlemen. Abzak, of course, a familiar face here on Cage Warriors, has competed a number of times as an amateur. First competition out of England for the young man from St. Helens. There we go, that's a bit better from Conor Hignett. It's going to get himself out of danger here. He's got to get his hips forward and his head up. See how his opponent just crawls him back down. And again, throwing the legs up is Naruas Abzak. See here, you shouldn't be allowing your opponent to just nonchalantly sit on their back. The strike should be coming down to him, making this top position painful for him. And a final flurry to end that second hey. round. And there's a cut on the head of Naros Abzak as well. One there, nine. Josh. Hignett taking One a look nine. at his hand as he walks back to the corner. And it's going to be some very tense moments in both corners here, Josh. Yeah, that's a really interesting round. It's a tough round to really get a good gauge on. I mean, let's have a look at some of the replays. You'll see Connor Hignett doing some good work and establishing that top position. It was the great handiwork on the feet and that fantastic left hook. Him surging forward and opened himself up for this takedown from Abzak. Hignett was just a little flat-footed there, Josh. Paid the price for it. Yeah, and I love this jumping guillotine attempt from Abzak. He obviously thought he had it. Credit, too, to Conor Hignett for surviving that hold. And this was really the story of the rest of the round. It was submission attempts from the bottom, albeit relatively loose from Abzak. But Conor Hignett just trying to grind on his opponent there, but not making it uh, you know, as unpleasant as he perhaps could have. Hignett's coach firing him up for the third round. Hignett calling for support from the crowd. He's probably more likely to get a suntan in the Antarctic. Dave, give me a white. Give me a tall, please. Referee right Peter Lavery. Just asking for a towel to wipe down that was Abzak. Third and final round, Hignett in the blue shorts. Abzak in the black and red. Brad Wharton, Josh Palmer calling the action here at Cage Warriors 71 in the Man Jordan. And Hignett immediately coming out with a double jab. Yeah, he had a lot of success on the feet. That left hook found a home early. Let's see if he can do the same again. Hignett being told to watch his hips. I mean, that's exactly right. Perhaps be wary that his opponent might want to shoot, bring that knee straight up the center, give the Jordanian just something else to think about. Hignett switching stance now, that karate style. A lot of versatility on the feet. What a abs up with a beautiful takedown, yeah. Josh. Just beautifully timed busy, shot. Guys. Didn't require any power, didn't really have to drive through it. Just timed perfectly to get in on the hips, catch his opponent off balance, and he's got a good top half guard here anyone's game here first round to the jordanian likely second round to the englishman everything to play for hignett trying to explode out doesn't get the sweep though 
And it's not worse than Zach from top position. Four minutes to go in the round, and indeed the fight. Conor Hignett, I think, needs to look to stand back up here. He's got to start deflecting the head, pushing the head away, making that frame to create the space to allow him to stand back up. If he lets his guard get past here, he's going to have a much harder time of it. Very similar to what we saw in the first round there, Josh, with that guard pass. Oh, I like the transition attempt from Amzak, getting caught back in half guard, though. And if he frees that leg, you can bet he's going to jump on an arm again. And hunting them all night. Hignett shrimping his way out. Looking for a way out, doesn't find it, ends up on the bottom of Mount again. First corner, Hignett. Three minutes to go. Armbar coming again. Couple of big elbows there. From the Honey Badger, no, what's up, Zach? Yeah, none landing too cleanly, but Hignett's got to do something here. He's got to have a sense of urgency. We're halfway through the round, and he's just lying a little bit stagnant here. Into side control now, and straight for the submission attempt. Does oh, no what's up, Zach? Much tighter grip, but getting caught in that half guard really ruined that submission attempt for him. Hignett's corner screaming for the sweep here, but again he ends up on the bottom of Mount in Arbor danger of an armbar. I love the willingness of Nara Sabzak to just throw for these submissions. Not having a great deal of success with them, I mean, he's landing some good positions, but they could all just perhaps be a tiny bit tighter. And that's the price you pay for the speed of attacking them. And the crowd here in Jordan going absolutely wild. In support of Nara Sabzak. Yeah, the, the crowd know there's a sense of urgency for these guys. Looking for the guillotine now. Conor Hegnett's got to get that right hand back inside. Dangerous position here, Josh. Especially if he can't... Oh, interesting bridge here. Trying to bridge off the cage is Hignett. I don't think... I can be able to get a choke here, but he's going to grab an arm again. And, uh, you know, Abzak can afford to run the time down here. He doesn't have to keep jumping on these, these submissions. He's firmly in control of this fight right now. Content to sit in mount for the time being is Nawas Abzak. I mean, I would just base out here, make yourself as heavy as possible. Throw good shots with it with accuracy. I don't think Flurry is really needed. Not much on these punches, but... Constantly looking for the submission from this top position is no loss of Zach. No oh, answer no. from Hegner as of yet. I mean, these arms crossed is a horrible position to be in. You do feel utterly helpless. And I'd be really surprised if the clock winds down and Zach doesn't try and take one of these arms off again. Less than a minute to go here. Referee Peter Lavery taking a close look at this one. Ooh, Big good elbow shot elbows. from no loss of Zach. I mean, the, the thing there is there's no recoil on the head. Just a full force against the canvas. Hignett not really offering much by way of offense or defense right now, needs to do something here. I mean, the first step is get out of the, you know, get out of this mount, and that requires a bit of explosion and perhaps, you know, putting yourself in a precarious position to do it, but right now he's got no choice. Hignett's got to be very careful here. Final seconds of the fight, doesn't want to give up this choke. Arm pinned down for Hignett, but there's the final buzzer. A valiant effort from Conor Hignett and a superb offensive performance from Nawas Abzak. Both these young men making their professional debuts, and I see a bright future ahead for both of them. Yeah, I think both are giving a very good account of themselves, but I think this one's firmly going to go to the Jordanian. Let's take a look at some of the action from that three-round flyweight contest. Beautiful level change there from the Jordanian. Straight into the side on that takedown, scooping Hignett's hips away. He's seeing with the high mount, transitioning from the armbar setup to heavy, heavy elbows. Constantly attacking the neck and the arms of the Englishman was not lost up Zach Hignett, gutting out these submission attempts, gutting out the punishment from above. 
big punches coming down from the Ross of Zach to end this fight. Pignett staying game, but ultimately it was the Jordanian that will take the round and the fight. Show of respect for Conor Hignett there to the Jordanian crowd bowing and finally getting a round of applause from this partisan audience. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and all three score it 29-27. Your winner by unanimous decision, Naras the Honey Badger of Victorious on his professional debut, he's Naras Abzak. Commiserations to Connor Hickner.